it's the night before Christmas. It's the afternoon before Christmas right now where we actually get to put some helmets on tomorrow and get a football out. You know, we, we haven't been able to, to do those things since the springtime. Merry Christmas indeed. I'm really curious to see how many hours Andy Avalos and his staff and players sleep tonight ahead of fall camp starting tomorrow. I'm setting the over under at about five and a half hours. High fives for all of us. Kim, Mark, you guys included. We have made it through a another long off season. Coach Avalos meeting with the media this afternoon ahead of the start of fall camp. Several things to touch on. We start with the topic of main importance for Bronco Nation, the quarterback battle between Hank Bachmeyer and Jack Sears. Coach Avalos saying today that duo will rotate reps to start out in fall camp. They'll rotate each day. Um, who goes with the ones, who goes with the twos. Um, but we're really excited, boy, both those guys. And uh, they've done an unbelievable job uh, really getting themselves comfortable with the operation of the offense, not only so that they can lead themselves, but so that they can lead the men around them. Um, so that they can become coaches on the field themselves. And so we're excited to see that competition as everybody else is. They're both fine young men. They will both do a good job. And the competition on the field will tell us the timeline and what that looks like. Talking point number two from earlier today is COVID protocols for this season, which Coach Avalos reiterated today. There will be plenty of them in place this season again. He also provided an update on the vaccine rate within his program today. As much as we all want to move on to whatever the, the, the new normal is, closest to what it was prior to the pandemic, we're not there yet. The biggest opponent we'll have this year is making sure that we handle our, our COVID protocols. It's still a very real situation. The protocols and the pandemic will play a role this year in college football and how people handle that. We feel like our, our numbers have improved since uh, media days. Um, our numbers are continuing to improve that way. The guys have had the opportunities to make a decision, um, but either way, whatever we decide to do, there are protocols we will operate by. Fall camp begins tomorrow. We have the full presser from earlier today online for you over at KTVB.com. We also have a new updated roster as fall camp begins. A few notable players no longer on the roster include cornerbacks Chris Mitchell and Jonathan Earl. Both have medically retired. Linebacker Brock Miller, who appeared in two games last fall after transferring from NC State, has left the program due to personal reasons. Oregon Edge transfer Andrew Falio has also left the program due to personal reasons. So those are some departures from the roster. There were also some notable additions. Two new quarterbacks added to the roster, both from California. Freshman Colton Fitzgerald from Saugus High School, as well as another freshman, Colt Fulton from Santa Margarita High School, joining the quarterback room. Will Farrar, a 6'5", 322-pound offensive lineman, has also been added to the roster. He spent the last four seasons at Texas Tech.